for having me here today. Um, I will give you an introduction of the Viewer SDK and the approach we have in order to generate apps purely using um, the very um, simple web development skills. So, um, in order, I'm, I'm going to start with a quick demo. Let's do um, a screen share here. And meanwhile, I'm only trusting cable. That's why I'm not using a Wi Fi mirror. So, basically, to give you an idea of what, what you are doing, we're mainly in the field of product visualization. So, the idea is film your environment and you can then select products. Here you have a product configurator where I can select from various different sizes and so on and then place an item in my surroundings and then trigger a video texture or some kind of animation and so on. So that's basically what uh, we're primarily focusing in the past year, so product visualization and we also have real estate applications, with depth sensing applications and so on. The core idea of our system is that we integrate multiple tracking systems that are available on the market and we put them together onto one layer, kind of giving you um, the ability to use those in, um, in so-called templates. So um, what I want to show you now, and it's not going to take that long because it's pretty simple, I will show you how to create an an application using our, our system. Basically, all you need to do is you need to um, set up a bundle identifier, define a version, pick from a template. As, um, as I've done now, I've selected the base template, which is, let's say, our furniture template. And I can save this configuration and then go back to the, just a second, to the screen mirror. And in the App Store, you'll find the ViewR SDK application, which is actually some kind of placeholder that transforms into the application you actually want to develop. So if I now enter awe.test, it will tell me to restart the application, which I will do. And then it will transform into the awe test um, application powered by our, as I said, base template. So in this scenario, I'm gonna um, use it for furniture and show you simple tracking, simple tracking paper-based. So we have this home screen, we have um, the ability to switch to VR. I can now either um, use a market tracking or just use the gyroscope tracking. I will use the market tracking, as you can see, it already detected it. And now I can, um, for example, add a furniture item using this market tracking and then walk around. Yeah, it's still struggling with the reflections a bit. But those are, yeah, let's actually do it without the marker. That might look better. So that's how it works without the marker. Obviously, scaling is, is expecting a certain device height. So um, in this case, I'm setting the device height to 1 meter and 40. So I have to adjust the height minimally. But basically, it's about, it's about seeing an item in the environment. So now the scenario is that we want to turn this template into the AWE application, which I will um, show you right now. So um, what I can do in this backend, I can open a configuration interface that will um, load the actual application template and give me abilities to modify that. I will now um, search for AWE. Let's search for AWE augmented and some images. So um, I would say let's pick this image stealing from Google Images and um, use this inspector functionality to inspect the CSS code of this page. So basically what we did is we added an HTML layer on top of our AR applications which you can then uh, modify using CSS commands. So 
I will also change this logo. Let's, yeah, let's use this one. And now I can save this layout to the server. Going back to the screen mirror. Just a second. Going back to the screen mirror, I'll restart the SDK application. And it was downloading the UI changes that we had, telling me which app I'm testing. And once I load it, I have this branding apply to my application. So the idea is you can now, let's say, also go ahead and maybe change the logo in that menu, maybe change font types, icons and so on, just using pure CSS. <coughs> but obviously it's not just about um, the layout and the, the frame and so on of um, the application and the welcome screen, obviously it's about content as well. So what I wanted to show you is our, our features in order to upload 3D models. So I'm picking the model selection and I'm adding the AWE chair and um, um, here I have a zip file that actually contains those files like an FBX of the actual 3D model a shadow of it, um, a thumbnail, and an image inclusion map, all packed as a zip file. I will upload that on the back end, and this will give me <coughs> a chair, basic chair 3D model, which will not be textured. By the way, here on the right side, I have a, um, a viewing button that will bring up this 3D model in a web view, so I can check out how it would look. It will now be messed up because it doesn't have materials assigned. I'll come back to that in a second. But basically I have this 3D model in place and uploaded. I can even check it on the website. I can open that model inside my application. But let's now talk about how to add, um, I'll show you how to add fabrics to that. So what I've created and um, is actually another zip file that contains two folders. Basically, what we the idea is you have a folder with the name of the material name being used in the 3D model with available texture options. And you just upload a zip file with the available textures and the system updates everything automatically. So here I have a few textures assigned and a few wood types um, that I have in that zip file. And uh, here I can upload material packs and I'll take the zip file, upload that, and it's telling me that it updated the chair and I can now do a quick che check in the web version whether the colors worked there. The process is purely working in the browser, checking and preparing the content, and it will instantly work on, on the platforms we support, like iOS, Android, Windows, and WebGL. So now I can change fabrics, I can change the wood, I can zoom in, rotate, and so on. But yeah, I want to show you this in the application. So switching back again. To the recording again. Oh, by the way, I think I have to. I forgot to assign it to a category. So let's assign this item to test models. Update. And once I now restart the application, it's bringing up my styled.
home side, I can switch to showroom, switch to AR, I can then um, go into test models, and there we go, downloading the item plus the material pack. And then I have an app that visualizes this chair with various material options and all that out of the box in a few minutes. So that's how we want to spread AR into to the world out there and, and have you developers out there um, use such systems that obviously also come with a variety of of add-ons. So for example in our base furniture template you would have abilities to create room layouts and to draw room shapes like um, you can draw a room like this or like define um, walls and so on turn that into a 3D representation and then let's say see how that chair would look in a virtual environment and being able to walk around there joysticks or with our tap mode where I can just tap where I want to go. So yeah, and that's that's what's really making especially the product visualization and the furniture industry um, accessible with a 4 AR apps is actually the combination of the VR scenarios of the room editing of the room builder features of the capabilities of um, displaying 3D models in websites. So that's what supports the, the um, eases the sales process and obviously as we're integrating multiple tracking systems like um, Euphoria, like Kuda, like many of them were bought already like Mitayo, Point Cloud and those. But yeah, as we integrate all kind of tracking systems, we, we take care of let's say the hard stuff and we give you a platform where you can then develop on top of or use a template. So this was, the demo was purely regarding our template approach where we have certain templates and focus on styling but we also give out a JavaScript API that will give you access to certain JavaScript calls like start tracking, insert model and so on. We don't have to worry about anything. We see ourselves as kind of an alternative to developing with Unity. So yeah, if you're interested in our system, feel free to pass by at our booth and happy to answer questions.